Now we're going to make some changes to this required page that we've created. In the panel, click on File, Page Properties. <clears throat> Once we have the page properties, uh, let's just spend a little moment here too. This deals with the appearance of this HTML document. Now we can see among the category listing that there is, it defaults to the CSS, which I will tell you we don't have any CSS associated with this required pages.html. This is simply a basic HTML page with no CSS, so we will work in this appearance of HTML. But before we do so, I want you to take notice of uh, the changes of the pages. Uh, in terms of the appearance, how, things that you can do. And you may recall you visit maybe news websites or blogs that you enjoy reading or what have you, magazines online. The hyperlink sometimes will vary in terms of the color. This right here, this deals with links, hyperlink, CSS, but you can determine which color you would like for your link to be and then once a person has visited or clicked on the hyperlink it can change a particular cover may excuse me color there's also one you may have noticed if you're visiting a site like troy.edu if you hover over a hyperlink it will change a certain color if it's active it'll be a different color this area right here allows you to make those changes uh, which is pretty unique here, still dealing with the hyperlink, never underline. Usually there is an underline and the text is normally blue, which is the normality of a hyperlink. But here, uh, based on it being your website, you can make changes to the hyperlink, which is pretty cool. Uh, the heading in terms of the CSS, here we have some of the sizes and variations. The title and encoding, remember we've already titled our page required pages, so here it gives details, properties, about our page is an HTML5 document, Unicode, which is the normality. Uh, document folder, it's within my flash drive, which is JRN 4440. And then the site folder, in terms of our site setup we did previously, is also JRN 4440 here. So it gives the specifications of this page. And then lastly, tracing an image. We don't have an image right now, but this deals with transparency. Uh, if we were to include an image on this page, but we will not for the purpose of this assignment. Let's go back now to the appearance HTML. And in the next video, we'll begin to make changes to this required page.